forest for a day. So I have a day to explore and see as much flora, fauna and fungi as possible. And I'm going to film everything that I see and bring you along with me for the adventure. It is autumn, which is my favorite time of year. And the new forest is stunning all year round, but I think autumn is my favorite time to be here. So let's go. sanctuary where you can often see fallow deer in this area. Um, I've just been to the viewing platform and there were three does in, in that area which was lovely to see and now I'm going for a little bit of a walk through the trees to see what else I might see. Fallow deer are easily identifiable by their beautiful chestnut brown coats adorned with white spots during the summer months. One of their most distinctive features is the black inverted horseshoe shape on their rumps. This area does get quite busy. It's probably one of the most popular places for people to stop, especially as it is an appointed deer viewing area. So uh, I won't be spending a lot of time here, but it is morning, so it's not particularly busy at the moment. I also visited Bewley, a village nestled in the heart of the New Forest, famous for its picturesque landscapes and rich history. The village's quaint streets are lined with lovely shops, cafes and scenic views of the Bewley River. Here I saw the iconic New Forest donkeys roaming freely. These animals are owned by the New Forest's commoners, local people who have the right to let their animals graze in the open forest. This tradition dates back many hundreds of years. Ponies also roam freely and their grazing not only keeps the New Forest neat and tidy, but also supports rare plant species, which in turn helps the wider ecosystem and encourages other species to thrive, including the Dartford warbler and the southern damselfly, which lays its eggs in the water-filled hoof prints of ponies and cattle nearby to streams. As you can see here, reflective collars are used on some ponies to help drivers see them at night and in poor light. Now I'm at Iworth Pond, which is a very beautiful spot. There's actually some tree felling going on in, in the distance, which you can probably hear. And there are quite a lot of small birds around here. So I'm going to spend some time filming them. In addition to the donkeys and ponies, in the autumn the new forest is home to pigs. Panage is the practice of releasing domestic pigs into a forest with the purpose of allowing them to eat fallen acorns, beech mast, chestnuts and other nuts. 
Green acorns in particular are poisonous to the New Forest ponies and cattle. This practice goes back to the time of William the Conqueror, who founded the New Forest in 1079. Roe deer's coats are vibrant rusty red in summer and in winter they develop a thicker coat that appears a muted grey-brown. Both sexes have a prominent white rump with no visible tail, although does have a small tuft of hair at the base of the rump patch as you can see here. As golden hour faded into twilight, I spent some time foraging for fungi. Each one, a little treasure, reminded me of the magic that autumn brings. The joy of exploring and connecting with creation made it a truly wonderful day, and I hope you enjoyed sharing it with me. Thank you for watching and please do support my channel by liking this video and subscribing.